Hi, today I'm going to talk about how I make custom signs. Before I get into it, I want to show you some other signs that I have already made and sold. These are all custom according to what the buyer was looking for. This one I did for a birdhouse display that I made. So I start with a slab of wood. In this case, it was a slab that was a cut off from a log and it had this really interesting bend to it. So I thought that section would make a nice sign. So I made this custom signs sign to display when I go to festivals to see if anybody might be interested in uh, getting custom made signs. Um, I'm gonna hang this there and um, take orders and pretty much see if I can sell some signs this way. So I start out by deciding how wide I want my sign and or the customer may want their sign and then I draw out the letters and I try to balance it between both edges of the sign. Then I fatten the letters and then I go to the routering setup. Now this board was relatively flat to begin with. I didn't have any undulating features. It does have saw marks in it, so that will all be sanded out in the end. So I've switched to my palm sander and I got an 80 grit sandpaper on there and after quite a bit of work, it, you know, it feels flat but it, it doesn't look flat so 80 grit I had to work at this and sand this also. It was nice and flat. It also lightened the um, color of the wood. But this is ambrosia maple and you'll see a couple of marks in it that indicate that it is ambrosia maple. Now I'm adding Hellsman's Spar Urethane, and this is a good urethane for exterior use. There's a lot of different urethanes you can use, including a polyurethane. You decide this will add an amber color to it, which I'm fine with. So I add this, and you can see a little bit of the color change right there. So I add this, and I also add it down into the grooves that I just cut out for the sign. Once that's all dry, I get out my oil-based black paint and I add that and I try to get all around the edges of this groove. So obviously at the base, but also on the edges of the, the groove. So the entire letter itself is black. And you can see it's a little bit of a light coat. It doesn't adhere too great to that uh, spar varnish, but I go back to that or urethane. I go back to that and do all the touch-ups I need to do. Yes, I will get a little bit on the top part, but I'll come back and sand that off or try to remove it when it's still wet with some mineral spirits. Whatever I need to do to make it clean and look very nicely finished. So I did go back and clean up the edges with uh, mineral spirits and I just wait for this to dry and then I go in and I sand to make it even better and after that I add another coat of urethane and that's it. I added two eye hooks at the top to hang it. Once the urethane was all dried I added a small pine tree and a mountain seen in the background with alcohol inks. I'll add a link to those below. Thank you for watching my video on how I make custom signs. If you're interested, please like and subscribe. 
and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.